All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful. It is a Monday morning, 72 degrees. My favorite temperature, a Monday morning, and uh, we are in Donellan, Florida. We'll get behind this oversized load. Oversized load and no telling what. Uh, heading, uh, <laughs> heading back to do some planet nibbling. This might be the last cool day in uh, Florida till November, so I better get out there and do one last little bit of planet nibbling. But it is a Monday morning, so this should be the the easiest and the shortest round of the week because it is time for my good news Monday roundup the good news for the planet roundup on Mon on this Monday morning April 8th uh, and I can report there is no good news on the planet uh, I mean at least if you are you know, a, a biological entity living on the planet, uh, you're, you're, you're really kind of fucked. Uh, now, again, I, I, I'm a little, a little bit on the fence about jellyfish, whether the news today is good for jellyfish. Uh, so in the jellyfish news, they might be reading this uh, as, as some good news. Although the last time I was at the beach, there was a shitload of dead jellyfish washing up on the damn beach. So I, I might be just too optimistic about the future of jellyfish on the planet. But other than that, uh, there is exactly... <clears throat> zero evidence, at least that I am finding in the mainstream media or medium.com. I, I uh, checked last night and I did a thorough review this morning. <clears throat> we don't even have Newsweek magazine uh, with its better planet uh, roundup. Uh, nope, a complete absence. Now, of course, the the news, uh, as it is more and more every day, is is chock full of these bullshit, ain't gonna happen news stories for clueless fucking morons who do not know how to read between the lines and will believe any unadulterated horseshit that these usually uh, well I don't know if it's the limp dick lefties uh, putting out the news it's just the the latest brand of planet eaters uh, putting out the, this unadulterated horseshit mostly about all of these new versions of the bright green lies that uh, you know I <laughs> it's just I, I, I've gotten to the point with, with these ain't gonna happens you know it's just that, that that's what what doom scrolling has basically become is you you have your doom and gloom scrolling and your ain't gonna happen scrolling uh the, the, those are the two scrollings doom and ain't gonna happen that's kind of your two choices now on the mainstream media and medium.com now, you know, I'm sure there's some sort of good news somewhere. I, I you know, I am talking about, uh, is there any good news for 
you know, any sort of living earthling that depends on a healthy planet for its survival. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't even see any uh, declining birth rate good news. Not one mention of the declining birth rates uh, anywhere on the mainstream. I, mean, I can't even report that. Uh, <laughs> which is the only ray of hopium out there. Oh, Jesus. You know, it's, it's just where it sucks, guys. So, uh... Well, there's good news for me because I have four Airbnb reservations. Uh, four Airbnb reservations. I, I don't even open for, uh... I don't even open for, what, over six weeks, and I have already have people clamoring to uh, come hang out at Bugs in a Jar Farm this summer. So that's good news for me. Uh, you know, I, I mean, depending on who you are, uh, you can find some good news. Uh, the real estate market in Florida seems to be impervious to uh, the the hurricane forecast for 2024. Uh, <laughs> I, is it good news that they created a new category of hurricane for 2024? Looking at the uh, looking at the tea leaves. I don't know if creating a new category, so we now have a category six hurricane that they have created uh, looking at the long-term hurricane forecast for the great state of Florida. We will see how that affects the, the real estate market in Florida after we have four or five category six hurricanes blow through here this summer. <clears throat> That's why I am getting my ass back to bugs in a jar farm. All right, well that was an easy rant. Uh, see what else I can, maybe I'll come up something else tonight but right now I'm going to take advantage of this one last gorgeous spring day April 8th might be the last spring day uh, I guess Wednesday could be our first 90 degree day uh, day after tomorrow could be our, our first 90 degree day and uh, then it's time to start thinking about packing up and moving back north for the summer. Get out there and uh, make your plans to pack it up and move north for the summer while you still can. Bye guys.